Many see the glamour and the glitter, but them think a better rose. We say, who feels it knows? Who, yeah, help me sustain each blood. channel um we just completed a funeral service and i was saying to my husband that i feel as if i'm doing too much at church and I, but for the first time today and i told her that i want her to shut her back <laughs> it was just a lot it was just a lot it was crazy man yeah i feel i feel like i'm I just want to go back I so. to how I don't know, you don't want following GPS. Continue on yeah. Cooper Avenue. I feel like I want to miles. go back to how I used to be. Bare minimum if nothing at all. And my husband doesn't agree with me. He wants God to shut me a box. Yep. Just That's what my pastor says to me. Yep. Boxer Jesus, boxer. A lot, man. Today was today was really really hectic. I think a lot of people take it for granted how much a pastoral family has to do, especially sacrifice. Man. I'm telling you, because this morning we started traveling from twelve midnight, midnight. and we got to our to our destination um, about fifteen past six. Mm -hmm. this morning mm -hmm. and we had to get to church for 9 or let's say 9.30 we got to church yeah. and we just finished the commit out and what time is this what almost 2? a green day for an hour I saw you to go eh? Jesus Christ you see it? I can't multitask <laughs> but all you have to do is talk <laughs> <laughs> yeah and and many people would see you as a pastor and feel you know the pastor well at least at least this pastor doesn't just collect paycheck this pastor works and it's a sacrifice you know because you know i didn't we didn't get any sleep no no sleep and now we are rushing to do our business now because we, we had to be at funeral yeah. not that we complain of serving the people but it takes much yeah it's a lot it's really a lot and i think that is why some pastors wives especially don't take on too much because and I felt that way you have your job and then you have to come and help your husband with his job yeah, no that's that's how that's how I used to see why you say I shouldn't say it like that this is the truth and it hurts oh so <laughs> so what I said a while ago is the truth and it hurts you yeah. <laughs> that's how I felt for a long time and that's why I gave the beer beer minimum in pastoral ministry in the past. Beer minimum. Do you think I'm exerting too much now? No. Um, mm -hmm. And the reason for that is that we're just starting out here. And the church was not at a place that it could function efficiently. So since we have the knowledge and we have the skills, we're building out, um, we're modeling the way until the people can be themselves. Listen. If you're listening and you're dating a pastor, no or no <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to no him. <laughs> um, make sure you know it's not just going to church on Sabbath or Sunday morning or whichever morning you go to church and looking it's pretty. It's not prestige. It's not the prestige. And there's not much pres prestige in it either. Yeah, it's about service. About literally about service because the pay is not <laughs> something that you'd want to go study for or to get <laughs> yeah yeah so it's, it, it's, it's a livable thing yeah. yeah yes guys so i just wanted us to come on and to just talk about today how very hectic it was honey has not eaten for morning I have not. you have not eaten from yesterday evening yeah. or last night yeah, yeah? And while I was in the sound room, I 
intern sound engineer today guys i was thrown in the deep end today listen thrown in the deep end ah, i'm telling you and i had to eat something because i was i was starving yeah i'm eating a sweetie me too you want something to eat now yeah, I have a sandwich. You want it now? But I know you're not going to eat one. Mm -mm. <laughs> this man I'm is a virgin so... mode. I don't understand. <laughs> this man is he's so weird. I don't eat in crowd and I don't eat on camera. Yeah, so how does it feel doing your first um funeral service? Being a full time pastor in North America because I know you did funeral services in Canada when you were helping Pastor O'Connor at his church. But how does it feel now as senior pastor doing your first? How was it? What was the experience like? <clears throat> the experience was, was okay, it wasn't anything um, fabulous because of the things that were going wrong, things that were out of place, people dropping the ball, people not on their A game. So it threw me. So I was not my A game because I had so many working parts that I had to be monitoring and stuff. But outside of that, you know, I'm, I manage stress well. It's one thing with me. I, yeah, I, I manage does. stress well. I don't get flustered. I go into solution mode. <laughs> but it was good. It was, it was a good <laughs> yeah. experience. And the family appreciated that I was able. They knew of the challenges and they just told me just now. And they appreciated that I held it together. Oh, they said that. Um, I the, the way I, I executed, I, the calm way, you know, it's as though nothing went wrong. And somebody came to me and he said to me, tears came to his eyes when he watched me with the level of professionalism and, and oh. anointing with which I executed my function today in service at the funeral service. He said, tears well up in his eyes and he wanted me to know that he was so blessed wow. and I wasn't even a preacher wow wow I was still the program wow yeah, so. listen <laughs> listen baby like seriously honey when you're when you're on the pulpit when you're on the pulpit if I wasn't married to you I'd be lusting after you whoa <laughs> You can't lost over what is your own. Like when you stand on the pulpit on the podium, you're so tall. Your your build is just the right size. Can you, and you look can so Can you imagine sweet. when I start going to the gym? <laughs> <laughs> so I can that professional look, I really like it. Yeah. I really love it. When I see you walk in church, I'm like, that's my man. <laughs> But that's nice though, that's it's very nice because things were really subway, going wrong right, this morning. Everything that could go wrong went wrong. Yeah. And then, you know the what? The only thing that was right was the body in the casket. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't come late. <laughs> I would have liked for it to come late. <laughs> 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 for once. <laughs> yeah. Because right, as subway, Honey says, right, he's the Broadway. one. Okay, you can stop talking on GPS. He's the one who's very calm cool and collected right he doesn't get frustrated easily he huh no he doesn't get frustrated easily yes it's asking you to turn here yeah. i on the other hand totally different story i have to be very intentional <laughs> look here i have to be very intentional about not just losing it Today I held it together. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Yeah, I held it together. Well. Thank you. Because well. I've got you. I've got, listen, no matter how we, we curse and fight and can't stand each other sometimes. Me no curse, no fight. <laughs> All right, no matter how me curse and fight and can't stand you sometimes. <laughs> I've always got you. 100%. Nice. If not, listen, I'll put on my superwoman suit and I learn to do every single thing to ensure that honey looks good and he is executing ministry efficient. I've got you, you know that. I appreciate that because today, had it not been for you, I would have looked like a sh <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, what is wrong with you? Yeah. 
and that's one of I was telling I was telling um, the communications director brother Dale that that's one of the reasons for me being so very organized and loving detail because I know that when things don't go right I will lose it honey you know that and at that time I have no filter because I'm thinking about the job that needs to get to be done it needs to be done it needs to be executed and right now I'm not thinking about you I'm thinking about the job that you you should not you should have done that you didn't do it and I'm the opposite I, I can balance it too I can be strong with people and say, hey, you needed to have done that and still, you know, care about them. Yeah. Um, and, and, and stuff like that. And I can, I can hold it together. I, I hold it together. Yeah. You know? I've learned that from you. Yeah, I don't I lose my cool. Easy street. Yeah, you don't lose your cool easily. Yeah, but when but, I lose it. Uh, mm -hmm. That's it. It's a rat poured out without mixture. That is it. I'm the one who will lose my cool more easily and then I calm down. But when he takes forever, but when he does, Lord have mercy. Yes, guys. So this is it. Um, this is the life of a pastor and his wife. So that's how it is sometimes. Some pastors have a church filled with everybody and all the bodies who... Resources. resources and you can just get it done and you can count on the brethren 100% and everything goes perfect that's the train New York oh. By the rules. New York I'm gonna love it because this is where God sends us <laughs> in the city yes trains Street for running over your head uh -huh. turn left onto Putnam Avenue Mm -hmm. And then you have the other pastoral family that you have to you have to do most of it. It's been our experience, so that has been our journey in ministry. But when you see the brethren improve, and when you mm -hmm. see them develop, and when you see them grow, and when you see them just being and just doing, it's amazing. But it's really a lot of heavy lifting at the beginning yeah. yeah so and that's one of the reasons that i i inserted myself as a part of the communications team because i know how important it is to you yeah. i know how important it is to you i know left how relevant it is for ministry in these days and so, you know, I'm learning as well. I'm Continue learning character Matthew development. For one and a half miles. All right, okay. Yeah, character development and all of that. So, guys, it's not a better rose, yeah? Many see the glamour and the glitter, but them think a better rose. We say, who, who feels it knows? Who, yeah, help me sustain each blow. And na, 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 na. We can't pay for it, so we're not singing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Bless up guys, please remember to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the all notification bell. We love you, honey's driving, so I'm gonna kiss him because he can't take his eyes off the road. What? <laughs> Bye guys.